Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a baby handprint charm using your rainbow loom and 65 loom bands. The rainbow loom is set up in the staggered or offset position, so those of you with other looms should be able to follow along as well. To begin, Take a single rubber band in the color you want your hand print to be and place it on the center peg going in the direction of the arrow. Then you're going to take two rubber bands at a time to start laying out the thumb. So I've done a single and then two and two. And now we're going to have two rubber bands that go on the angle this way and two that go forward. So two on the diagonal to the bottom and two from that same peg going straight. And now We'll start here and place two and then two going up. And we're ready now to go on these straight lines. We're going to put two, two, and two for each of these rows for the palm of the baby's hand. Now I use two at a time because it creates a much more solid charm. The two rubber bands aren't necessary to create the structure or the shape. So if you want to try and make this with just one rubber band at a time, you can. It just won't look quite as sturdy when it's done. And again, two at a time for the three positions going straight. And now we need to put two here going that way and another two that way. And uh, now the caps to keep the hand structure together, taking a single rubber band and stretching it across the three pegs here as well. And we're ready now to form our fingers. Uh, I'm going to move the chart out of the way just so that the camera can focus better. But you'll see from the chart, which you can print out at madebymommy.com, that the fingers are each a different length. The pinky finger has just two pairs of bands. The next finger has three, then four, and then three again. So we're going to form those on our hook by taking a single band, wrapping it around, three times and to start with our pinky push those bands to the center if you're having trouble pushing you can always pinch it and pull it over whichever works best for you and then another two and you've created the little pinky for the baby hand. We're going to place that at this corner and 
here. Now for the next finger, we need three at a time. If you like working on your hook, you can go ahead and do that again. I'm going to show you the alternate method for those of you that don't like working on your hook. You would take your two pairs in a straight line. and then place a single rubber band around this one three times. And then using your hook, form the finger. So that's your alternative. If you don't like working just on the hook, you can use your loom that way. And now we have two more fingers to make. One that will be a length of four and another one that's a length of three. So I'm going to do the one that's four first. And then set up the one that needs to be just three long. And add our tripled over cap bands in these two positions. Twice. I wanted that a third time. There we go. Now it's around three. The reason you want to do it three instead of two is so that the fingertips look very neat. So let's make this finger. And get this finger ready too. Okay, now we can pop that off the loom. And this is the one that is four long. So that goes here. Stretching all those bands over. And then grab that last finger. Phew! That was a lot of rubber bands but it comes out really cute in the end. So thanks for hanging in there. So to start with the rest of the rubber bands on the loom, you're gonna begin at this pinky finger here where the finger itself is gonna be the cap band. We don't need to add another one. And we're gonna go in here. And if you look from the bottom, you've got two bands that are going straight forward and then two that go on the diagonal this way. We want to catch those two from inside that little pinky. And bring those right here to the middle peg. Then do the same on this row and if you need to separate them it makes it a little easier to catch the right bands if there's a gap in between. Catch those two and bring it to the side. 
So now we form the side of the hand. We're now going to connect the fingers together. Catching the two bands that go forward here. Great, and then we can do the same for the middle row. And for the bottom of the hand. We're now going to work this line of the hand. And this one you need to be careful because again there's two pairs of rubber bands. There's one that goes that way and one that goes this way. We want to catch just the ones that are going there. Now I caught the wrong band there. I can see because there's one still here. See this one that's sort of thinned out? That's not the right one. So I'm going to put that back to catch later. Loosen this up so it goes back into place and then come back in to get the band that I missed. There it is. See how much better shape that looks now? You can see the V in the V, so you know you have the right band. And now I need to catch these two that go forward here. And from this side, To the center and now we just finish off the thumb. And the last, we create a slip knot by taking this side of the rubber band through the center of that side and pulling tight. And we're ready to take our baby hand off of the loom. Make sure you're always pulling on more than one rubber band at a time otherwise you might snap one and that would be a big bummer after all that work. But if you have a bunch and you pull back it should pop right off for you. And there you have it. Tug out those fingers so that they're straight and you have your own little baby handprint. If you're going to attach this as a charm, you'll leave that loop where it is. If you want this to lie on a table as a decoration, maybe for a baby shower, or as just a present to give somebody, to make this loop hide, you put your hook through the thumb and pull down that band and then come back into the hand again a second time and tug it through until the end isn't visible. I hope you enjoyed making a baby hand print charm with me today whether you've did it in a natural color or in pink or blue to represent a baby girl or boy or maybe you've made a rainbow handprint. Whatever it is you like. Give yourself a baby high five for doing a good job. Please consider subscribing. I'll put a link here. 
so that you can be notified when I post additional charms. Click like below to let me know that you liked this one and you'd like me to make others like it. And do check out my channel for other videos. I have lots of charms that you may like to make either for yourself or as gifts. Thank you again for watching and I look forward to looming with you again another day.